Here we are indoors among the mess in my garage. Uh, this is my almost complete uh, impeller kit installed. I installed it with my impeller out of the machine obviously as you can see. Uh, many of you may be installing this on the machine by removing your chute, taking off uh, um, probably four quarter inch nuts, so take a seven sixteenth uh, socket to do it, and then you just you'll just pull off the chute and uh, then you can drill down from drill down from the top. Uh, be better. Uh, it's not going to make any difference. You can drill down from the top, hole here, hole here, hole there. And uh, you'll perhaps only be going with uh, rubber to just, just the base of the bend in the fin. And in mine here, this would only mean me using three and a half inches of uh, rubber. Uh, so this is conveyor belt. I'm sure I mentioned it in the video. I got it from a, uh, a John Deere dealership actually and uh, uh, it was very inexpensive. I think they said five dollars a, a foot and uh, it was 30 inches wide. I got six inches of it I think six or seven inches of it. Um, so if you're installing this on your machine, you may be drilling down, like I said, uh, taking the chute off, drilling down from above. And you may want to use bolts. You may not want to be welding things in like I did, welding in studs. So you do use some sort of round-headed bolt, I would think, you know, to make the snow exit easier. Couldn't really use a carriage bolt because there's nothing to hold it. You know, it's just going to sit into a hole and it's going to spin if you go to tighten up the nut. So... Some sort of round-headed nut, whether it uh, takes a flat-headed screwdriver or a Robertson or a Phillips, whatever. And, uh, and construct it the same as I do in the video. <clears throat> you might see my completed... Uh, it, uh, it only has two nuts on each fin here, and that's because uh, I'd use the bulk of my nuts on... Uh, my lock nuts on my other machine, my 32-inch machine. When I installed a kit on it. So I went back to the store to get more, and all I had were stainless steel. The other store is a 15 minute driveway, 10 minute driveway, and uh, they were going to be stainless steel at 49 cents a piece, so I decided I'd just wait. <laughs> so I paid about 8 cents a piece for these nuts, and I paid 8 cents a piece for the quarter by three quarter bolts that I cut off for studs. Um, the Flat metal uh, described in the video is in two pieces because uh, obviously I have studs installed. As you can see, six studs in each fin. And uh, you can't put one piece. There's no way to put one piece over top of that, so it's cut into two pieces. So uh, in the video, I mentioned uh, I had a repeated brain fart a few times. I mentioned uh, an X Actor knife. I meant to say a Jiprock knife. This one here is just, you buy this at a dollar store. So obviously it's worth a dollar. You can buy ten blades, replacement blades for a dollar. Very inexpensive. Use that for cutting the end of the rubber here. Cutting your, you know, your uh, inch and a quarter or inch and a half, whatever size you want to make them when you're cutting them to width. You'll use some sort of straight edge and cut it with an exacto knife before we get to this point of putting it on. And later we'll be using it to trim it, you know. I think I have more rubber out here than I actually need, so this one has to be, there's no knot on there, that'll be pulled in a little and then trimmed. So, <clears throat> so I guess that's about it. And I uh, hope you enjoy my video and I hope you're uh, successful at building one and hopefully you can make head or tail out of my video and and have great success with it. Thank you.